Hi guys, welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, ang i-discuss naman natin is yung math challenge for grade 7 division oral. So this time, discuss naman natin yung mga solutions for the average round which are good for 30 seconds. So in this video mga Lodi, didiscuss ko sa inyo yung mga fastest way or approach on how to solve this type of problems which was asked during the 2019 um, division orals na that's nationwide for grade 7. Okay, let's start. Nilagay ko dito yung details ng questions mga Lodi para makikita nyo. Number one, a camera drone travels at a speed of 40 miles per hour. How many feet can it travel if its maximum flight time is 20 minutes? So for number one, ang speed niya raw is 40 miles per hour. How many feet daw mga Lodi yung matatravel niya if yung maximum flight time niya is 20 minutes? So alam natin na ang 1 mile is equivalent to So, ayan, dyan kang maglalag. So, dapat yung mga ganong klase ng conversion, alam natin. So, that is equal to 5,280 feet. Tapos, anong sinabi mga Lodi? 20 minutes. So, ang formula ng distance, that is equal to speed multiplied by time. Okay? So, ano ang mangyari dyan? Ano yung speed natin? 40 miles per hour. So, this is 40 miles per hour multiplied by 20 minutes but alam natin na ang conversion niyan is 20 minutes per 60 minutes mga lodi sa isang oras kaya ang lalabas dito 40 miles per uh, sorry 40 miles lang 40 over 3 ayan pero di ba mga lodi anong sinabi natin dapat in terms of feet so what we can do is imumultiply natin to sa 5,280 feet all over 1 mile. Kasi nga, ito yung pinaka-conversion natin. So, anong critical dito? Yung conversion pati yung paggamit ng formula. So, what will happen is pwede natin ito ma-cancel. Since this is divisible to by 3, so divide both sides by 3. So, this is 1, 7, 6, 0. Then, 40 times 1. Uh, 1760 so ang lalabas diyan mga lodi is 70,400 feet ayan ay magiging final answer natin okay kaya naman siya in 30 seconds eh basta manotice lang natin or pwede nating i-sabihin natin dun sa mga mathlets natin na yung 5280 i-divide mo na agad sa 3 kasi nga it will take time if you multiply then divide it by 3 So, kasi may kita naman eh, 5 plus 2 plus 8, that is divisible by 3, which is 15, di ba? So, divide agad by 3, then multiply. So, yun yung magiging sagot mga Lodi, okay? Problem number 2. Next problem tayo. So, for, for problem number 2, solve for x in the equation. Or specifically, in the exponential equation. So, we have 6 multiplied by 16 raised to x minus 1 is equal to 24 multiplied by 2 raised to 2x plus 6. So, first thing, we have to reduce 6 as a power or as a product of its prime factorization. So, 6 is equivalent to 2 times 3. So, that's 2 times 3, mga Lodi. How about yung 16? We know that 16 is 2 to the 4th. So, naka-raise sa x minus 1 equals, ano yung 24, mga Lodi? That's 8 times 3. So, that is 3 times 2 cubed. That's 24. Tapos, i-copy natin to. 2 raised to 2x plus 6. As you can see, meron tayong common na 3. So, pwede mo nang tanggalin yan. Then, applying the loss of exponent, multiplying same base, i-add natin yung exponent. Since parel silang 2, so magiging, uh, ano to, 1. So, that's 1 plus 4 times x minus 1. Bakit po naging ganun? Power raised to power, just multiply yung dalawang power na n. Equals 3 plus 2x plus 6. So, 1 plus 4x minus 4 equals 2x plus 9. So, we have 2x is equal to uh, 12. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 6. So, ganun lang mga Lodi. Huwag masyadong kabahan, relax and focus lang. Composure lang tayo sa pagsasolve. Alam natin na yung grade 7 transition from grade 6. Pero it will be much easier and mas madali sila makomportable kung marami tayong practice for our mathletes. Okay? Number 
So, express the repeating decimal 8.12121212 as a fraction in lowest term. So, wala namang sinabi kung mix, mix siya or improper. So, either of the two. So, pwede mong gawin dyan. So, number 3. So, we have 8.12. Now, ulit yung 1.2. Ang, ang maganda kasi dyan, mga Lodi, madali lang yung 12. I mean, madali lang kapag umuulit lahat, wala kang naibang string. Kasi nga, ang gagawin mo lang naman dyan, kung ilan yung naulit, that is the number of 99s na nasa ilalim. So, ilan yung digit na naulit natin? Dalawa. Therefore, dalawang 9. So, that is 12 over 99. So, this is equal to 8 and 12 over 99. So, this is equal to 8 and 4 over 33. Or kapag in-express natin in improper fraction, that is ilan yung 33 times 8 mga lodi. So, 33 times 8, that is 264. 264 plus 4, that is 268 over 33. Since wala sa direction yung sinabi naman kung anong klase ng dapat isagot, so what we can do is we can rewrite it as a mixed fraction or an improper fraction. Bakit ba naging ganun yung solution natin, yung shortcut? Kasi nga, ganito siya. Let's say, x equals 0 0.12. So, we're just after the decimal, mga Lodi, ah. So, multiply both sides by 10. So, 10x equals 1.212. Ito umulit. So, tingnan natin yung decimal. Walang parehas. Then, multiply again both sides by 100. So, that is 12.12 .12 na ulit. Itong dalawang to ay parehas. So, minus natin. So, subtracting. Subtract natin yan. So, that's 100 minus x. That's 99x equals 12. Makawala yung decimal. Kaya kung mapapansin yung mga Lodi, 12 over 99, or that's 4 over 33. So, tandaan natin mga Lodi, uh, mas maganda kung alam natin yung shortcut. Pero, pinaka-better pa rin, alam natin yung derivation. Kasi alam, alam natin yung fundamental concept. Okay? Problem number 4. Sa susunod mga Lodi, kapag sinagutan natin yung mga difficult questions, most likely may may kita tayo din na may what if may isang na digit or dalawang digit or maraming digit na hindi na ulit dun sa repeating natin. So, papakita natin yun soonest. Okay, number 4. Solve for the value of x. Wait lang yung marker natin. Solve for x. So, that's x plus 3 all over 3 minus x plus 2 all over 2 equals x plus 6 all over 6. First step, LCD. Multiply everything by their LCD. Bakit ba ito tinatanong yung Sir IG sa 30 seconds? Kasi, dito madalas nagkakamali yung mga matlits natin na grade 7 dun sa pag-distribute ng sign. So, like this. 6 divided by 3, that's 2 multiplied by x plus 3. Dito sila nagkakaroon ng issue, mga lodi. Dito sila nagkakaroon ng pagkakamali. Pag dinibay nila ito, 6 divided by 2, that's 3 times x minus 3x. Tapos, nakakapi nila yung plus, which is dapat minus siya. So, ang gawin nyo, or ang ituro natin dun sa mga matlits natin, or dun sa mga matlits na kikinig, ganito yung gawin natin. 6 divided to 3, lagay mo muna sa labas. Para hindi ka mahirapan, then distribute mo later. So, this is equal to x plus 6. So, what will happen? 2x plus 6. Minus 3x, minus 6, negative, positive, negative, equals x plus 6. So, magiging negative x equals x plus 6. Magiging negative 2x equals 6. Solving for x, we have negative 3. So, ganun lang siya. Mabilis lang yan mga Lodi. Just be careful with the signs. Okay, number 5, last problem for our average round. So, for number 5. So, ang question sa number 5 is ito. In a pie chart that shows the monthly family expenditures on different items, the central angle of the sector representing the expenses on food is 144 degrees. How much is spent on food? If the monthly income is 22,000 pesos. So, madali lang yan. So, for number 5, alam natin na kapag sa pie chart, ang total niya is 360 degrees. Kasi nga, ang pie chart is a circular chart. So, circle 360. Then, we will get the portion of the food which is 144 degrees. So, the food is equivalent to 144 degrees all over 360 degrees. So, ito mga loaded based on experience, dapat mabilis ka mag lowest term. Pero kung alam mo na ito ay 2 fifths, much better. Kasi ang 72 times 2, 144. 72 times 5, 360. So that is 22,000 pesos multiplied by 2 over 5. So madali na yan. 
So that's 44,000 over 5. So that is 8,800 pesos. So much better. Pwede mo rin lagyan ng ganyan para designate na pesos siya. So ulitin ko, kunin mo lang yung portion, din multiply dun sa pinaka magkano ba yung buo. So just in case meron kayong questions or clarifications, don't forget to comment mga lodi. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And I hope you all the best. God bless us all mga lodi. Bye-bye.